Hey everyone, Sandhill Shooter here. Um, I want to talk to you guys about something, and first I have a little story I want to tell you. And you guys maybe have heard this one before when you were kids, but uh, it kind of helps me uh, with the point I'm going to make here in a little bit. So here it goes. A long time ago, in a kingdom far, far away, there was a king who really, really liked fancy clothes. Everyone in the kingdom knew how much the king liked his fancy clothes. He was constantly changing his clothes, putting on a new outfit. He didn't like to wear the same outfit twice, and everything had to be just top-notch, super uh, fancy colors, fancy patterns. Everything was just immaculate. This king really, really liked to dress well. In fact, he liked dressing well so much that uh, he never asked his, uh, his advisors anything about how the kingdom was running. He only asked them how good he looked in his clothes. And everyone knew uh, from one end of the kingdom to the other that if you didn't tell the king uh, how great he looks in his clothes, that you would be uh, banished. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be part of that kingdom ever again. One day, a couple scam artists heard about this. And they decided that they could make a little money off of this situation. So they go up to the palace... And they talk to the king, and they tell the king, um, we make clothes that are so fancy, so fine, so beautiful, that you've never seen the like. The king said, really? Tell me more. They said, well, the first thing is, um, we spin it out of gold thread, we use the finest silks, and the clothes that we make are so light and so fancy that a normal person can't see them. A normal person isn't smart enough to be able to figure out what they're looking at. So only the highly intelligent can see these clothes. The king thought for a second and said, well, that actually could work to my favor because then I can find out who the intelligent people are in the kingdom. And uh, if any of my advisors aren't intelligent, they need to go and I need to put somebody else in that place. So the king said, all right, whatever you guys need, we're going to give you. So uh, they said, well, we need the finest silks and we need, you know, gold thread and maybe some spending money. And the king said, well, here's a sack of cash. Uh, take whatever you need. And if you need more, uh, just let me know and, and we'll, we'll get you more. So these two scam artists go off in a room and they pretend to make some clothes. And every time somebody looks in there, they look like they're busy, but the, whoever looks in there can't really see what they're doing. So one day they say that uh, the clothes are ready. And the king's like, well, maybe I should send somebody in to check on him first before I go all the way down there. So he sends his trusted advisor. His trusted advisor goes down and, and looks, and uh, the two scam artists hold up what looks like nothing in their hands. Because it was. Uh, and, and they say, well, what do you think about these clothes? You know, is the king going to be thrilled? Look at how, how vibrant the colors are, and look at how intricate the design is. And the advisor of course can't see anything, but he doesn't want to admit that because that would be admitting that he's an idiot and he shouldn't be uh, the king's advisor. So he decides to just play along and say, oh yeah, it's, it's gorgeous, I've never seen such a thing. So he goes back and tells the king about it. And the king says, well, and, and the advisor says, oh, it, it is it's so beautiful. Um, and he explains it just exactly the way that the scam artist uh, had explained it to, to him, you know, with the colors and the patterns and such as that. So the king decides that uh, he's going to wear these new clothes in a, a parade. He's going to walk right through the middle of uh, the kingdom uh, in this parade wearing this, this new outfit. So he goes down and uh, gets ready to be fitted for these clothes. And the scam artists, of course, uh, have been taking all of the money, all of the fine silks and threads, and uh, they've just been uh, you know, stashing that and packing it away. They're, they're not actually using any of it. So the king comes down here, and they pretend like they're outfitting him, and here he is standing naked as the day he was born, and they're pretending to put these clothes on him. Now the king can't see anything. But he also knows better than to admit that he can't see this stuff because that would be the same as admitting he is an imbecile. And so he decides to play along too. So he feels like he's naked, but he knows that the smart people can't uh, see his nakedness. So, and the rest of them, of course, wouldn't matter. So he decides to go ahead and do this parade. And he's walking right through the kingdom and he's saying, well, well how do you like my new clothes? Aren't they beautiful? And, and of course, everybody knows... Um, that the, the way to, to get along is to, to go along. 
And so they say, oh yeah, they're beautiful. Oh yeah, you know, they're telling the king everything he wants to hear. And uh, even though they can see that he's not wearing anything, nobody actually wants to bring attention to the truth. Finally, uh, a small child looks up and sees him and says, he's not wearing anything. And pretty soon, all of the adults are like, well, yeah, but I wasn't going to say that. Uh, that yeah, he's, he's naked. Um, and so... Uh, by the time the king figures out that he really is not wearing anything and that nobody can see these clothes because they're not there, these scam artists are long gone. Okay, so we've all heard about this uh, king. I think we've all heard this story. But this is kind of happening right now in our country too. And I'm talking about, uh, this is a topic, we, we heard about it a little bit last night on the Never Enough Ammo Chat, um, the, the Guns and Geeks podcast. But... Uh, there's a new trend now where people are, are saying, you shouldn't call your child he or she, you should call your child they. And it's not a baby, it's a, a they-be. Okay, now this to me sounds completely ludicrous. Um, but, you know, in, in today's world, in society, uh, it's becoming a taboo to say, well, that person is male, because they were born with an X chromosome, a Y chromosome, you know, they have a penis. Um, that person is female because they have two X chromosomes, they have, um, you know, the, the rest of the stuff. We can't go by that anymore. We're not supposed to. We're not supposed to assume that just because a little girl comes out that she's a girl. Just because a little boy comes out that he's a boy. And it, it just, it's completely insane to me that this is where our country has gotten to. Uh, we're having people taught in school now that gender is fluid, that there, there are more than two genders. Well, I've got news for you. There's two. There's male, there's female. I do realize that there are some human beings that are born exhibiting both traits or having organs from both of the genders, okay? But this is not um, a normal... Uh, Birth. This is a, a genetic anomaly. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny percentage of humans that are born on the planet this way. Um, and I'm not saying that they're not normal. It's normal is relative. We know that. What I'm saying is that uh, uh, statistically, what is the norm is a male or a female. And there's no arguing that. Uh, I've never seen um, anybody argue that there's a, a male lion or a female lion. I've never seen anybody say, well, you know, that lion with the big mane um, is a female just because uh, he's got the, the sex organs of a male doesn't mean that he's not a lioness. Nobody argues that. That's dumb. Okay? So, can we maybe stop pretending that the king has beautiful clothes on and call it for what it is? Can we maybe stop pretending that just because somebody wants to be called female doesn't actually make them female, and if you want to respect their wishes and call them that, that's fine, but you're calling them that. They don't actually get to be that just because they want to be or they choose to be, okay? That's not how genetics works. So I'd like some feedback on this. I know that not everybody who sees this is going to agree with me, and that's okay. Uh, make a comment down below if you would, and just kind of let me know how you feel about the video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe. Also hit the little bell next to it, and you'll know when I put one of these videos up. And then uh, share this video, and uh, hit that little thumbs up button too, would you? Thanks everybody for uh, listening to this, and God bless you.